So I'm with Mike Olson here from St. FM, and he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, the work that he does here for St. FM and how it all came about. Yes, so the idea with St. FM actually started when uh, myself and a friend of mine, we were working with uh, the government media on the island, the state-sponsored media. And uh, we got into conflict uh, all the time because you need funding every year from government to run the operation. And even if they didn't tell you exactly what to write or what to say, there was always a threat there that you were not independent. And unfortunately, my friend John Drummond, he died in October 2003. He was editor for the St. Lena Herald. And in his will, he stated that he wanted to create independent media on St. Lena and he left a legacy enough to uh, undertake some training for a couple of girls and to uh, start purchasing equipment. It's the heartbeat of St. Lena, really, is the official mission statement. But I see it as having several missions, especially with the huge success we have had from saints overseas, especially in the UK, and uh, also other people that have no knowledge about St. Lena at all, but they like the radio station because of what it's doing. Sometimes you have to be a bit of a devil's advocate to create a debate in the society. Sometimes you have to chuck in a flare, I'm afraid, to get a debate going. Uh, and that, that is needed. People are still not used. They are only seen really independent media here for two and a half, three years. All the issues involved with the airport development, that's, that is the biggest issue. And that's a lot of things we talk about, the environmental thing, we're talking about uh, infrastructure on the island roads, water, electricity need to be built, built up. Um, we even come into certain political issues in itself when it comes to the airport development. How do we handle the development? Who's going to have the power? So that, that's a wide range. And also still, which also partly airport related, is uh, the depopulation is still going on as far as we can see it. And uh, we look forward to, to keeping in touch with Mike from all over the world. It's right there on your computer, and that's www.saint.fm. So tune in to Mike and all the people here at Saint FM and uh, listen to the local news and what's going down in one of the world's most isolated places. These here are the ropes of Santalina. These ropes are the only way on or off this island. For 300 years, people have been using just these. Every person, young, old, rich, poor, has to enter and leave this island by jumping from a boat, holding one of these ropes, and get on the dock here in Santalina. There's no slipway, there's no beaches. Santalina is also in its boat world very isolated. Santalina is slipping away in the background there at 7 a.m. Had a pretty good night's sleep ready to go. Quite sad to leave it. Goodbye, Santalina. As we leave Santalina, we're also leaving behind all their endemic plant life and all those wonderful researchers and scientists that we've been meeting. And people like Eddie Duff and Craig from the wind farm and all those wonderful people who've helped us and shared some of their work and experience along the way. We also leave Santalina with a heavy heart because all of us fell in love with this place just a little bit. If you ever have a chance to come to St. Helena, you better do it before the airport gets here. I'm afraid that it's going to lose some of its magic once that happens. But we're out into the big blue. Goodbye, St. Helena.